Hey everybody, it is I, Giggle Viking. Today is gonna be both a sad and a happy video at the same time. In 2021, I bought my KTM 690. And uh, apart from it being expensive and new it was also finally a bike I really wanted um, before this I had the uh, Fireblade uh, it was a bike I wanted but it wasn't really the the year I wanted future Xire from a different camera angle I uh, was not pleased with uh, what I filmed so I decided to do some parts again because I was too monotone anyways uh, as I was saying um, with the Fireblade I got the SC28, uh, but I wanted the 959RR, uh, or I wanted the KTM RC8, one of the of those two, or the newest Fireblade, which I don't know which version it was, it'll probably pop up on the screen. I just did not have the funding, same with the intruder. I got the intruder 750 because i couldn't get the bigger version or a harley or an indian or stuff like that then i <laughs> became a little bit obsessed by uh, supermotos i uh, bought a 530 exe and it was i thought the bike that I really wanted. Turns out it wasn't really. I mean, it didn't lack power or anything. Uh, well, if you compare it to the Fireblade, it does. When I came to a traffic light, I just had to turn it off. Uh, and then I got like three starts out of my electric starter out in one battery. And there's a lot of traffic lights in Rotterdam, so, you know, what am I supposed to do? I uh, I was told that it took an hour to to charge the the battery and while driving, and that's normal. And then that, that the clutch plates are not working properly and that it's very choppy. I just couldn't get it off the line. And it was all told to me that this was normal. There's one, only one store in the Netherlands, as far as I know, that converts dirt bikes to supermotos as, as like a thing. And he assured me that this is how it's supposed to go. And I later found out that not all of it is supposed to go like that. Anyway, when it broke down like three, I think three times, I had to go take a day off, go to the other side of the country, three three days. So it, it took me a lot of time and I rode it maybe 100 kilometers. So yeah, I, uh, I chose a 690 and boy, <laughs> was I happy I did. The moment it arrived, it was delivered to me without uh, DB killers in. So I started it and <laughs> let's just say I got excited more than one way and but of course in typical me fashion is it had to break down a couple of times uh, the clutch slave which is notorious on the on the bikes was leaking and i had to replace it with an overall clutch slave an aftermarket one and after that finally it worked like a charm i can honestly say that i truly truly enjoyed this bike and i am maybe a beginner at best <laughs> but i can say when i'm cornering or taking turns with the 690 it it makes me feel like i'm on a track and not to mention it is a really good looking bike in my opinion and it's just pure effing fun to ride it honestly but sadly the time has come for her to go but it was perfect, you said. 
how could you? I know, I know. <laughs> I said she, she was perfect in her own way. I mean, the, this bike is uh, is great for riding in the city and taking, being very nimble through corners and in between traffic and it's light so you can just throw it around and very, very, very nice bike. But I want something else. I am, uh, as much as I uh, like uh, hooliganing uh, on the road, it is, it is built for that, you know, it's, it's built for being in the city and driving quickly, turning, you know, just, just driving with passion on the road and on the tarmac and my new thing that i fell in love with is driving off-road and the problem here in the netherlands is that i need to drive one two three hours to get to off-road sections and this thing just it, it's not made for that it's not fun to sit on it for three hours then do off-roading then three hours back it's just not fun it's not the way it's supposed to be and it is what i am looking for in at the moment the wind protection is not that good it is everything i want to in uh, a bike to drive around the city but i want to go further now i want to go different countries and have adventures but i am gonna try to give this bike a proper send off uh, as a thank you for the wonderful time i had with it and thank it for being part of my life so without further ado here's some b-roll thank you guys for watching and uh, i'll see you in the next video